much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. You are appreciated. Uh, if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Uh, this is a general energy check in Pisces. Just seeing what's going on with you, within you, around you, or with someone else you're dealing with. Who knows? That's just what comes up. So take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Do not try to force to shoot a fit. It will only, con only confuse you. Uh, also, I just wanted to mention uh, the increase in my um, my personal booking prices. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. But uh, I recently incorporated my business. I am on my level up in my level up season, right? I'm on my Sierra. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm being silly. <laughs> okay, Pisces. So I had to, um, taxes are included in my booking prices now. So I just, that is just the increase of reflection of uh, the taxes that I have to have. Because, you know, you always got to pay the piper. And it's just the way of the world we live in. So uh, with that being said, that's uh, just clarification for you. Uh, Thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for your good karma donations. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really just want to jump into your reading now, Pisces. I just like getting to the point. I'm a water sign. What can I say? Okay, so let's see what Spirit has for you. Also, feel free to check out the information in my description box. If you are looking for uh, over-the-phone reading, you can, uh, you can hit me up on Your Harmonic Wave. And we can chat over the phone, you know, and um, Spirit can give you some clarity for your uh, your issues, some answers for your questions. Okay, so that information, the link for that is in my description box as well, as well as some other information. Okay, Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here, I understand them. Uh, what messages do you have for the Piscean Collective? Thank you, Spirit. What is the overall energy of the Piscean Collective? Oh, we have journey in reverse. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pull some clarifying cards. Spirit, please clarify journey in reverse. Thank you. Woo! Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Yes, I picked them up off the floor and two more had fallen. So you have here the world. Seven of swords in reverse. King of coins. Four of Wands in reverse, and the Hermit. So, Pisces, it looks like you ended something with someone. Uh huh. Your journey is over with someone, as a matter of fact. It's like a partnership that is no longer uh, together. And this is the ending of a cycle, Pisces. You went through everything that you were supposed to go through with someone. You learned what you needed to learn, and it's time to move on. Mm hmm. You. You realized the truth about something with somebody, yes. Someone was trying to hide something from you. They were either uh, cheating, uh, they were doing some kind of deceptive behavior. Someone was using someone for money or... <sighs> someone in this collective, I'm getting a storyline where you were in a relationship with someone and they would act like they didn't have money or they had very low finances. Now, this person would either just take money from you, right? I'm seeing someone just put their hands in someone's pockets and just take the money on and that's it. Like, we're together, so you have to give me money. Oh, boy. And, and uh, Pisces, someone was getting you to give them money while they were, they were stashing their own. So they were, like, being a miser. They were using you to take care of their everyday expenses or any other financial issues that they had while they were building up their own money in the background. Someone paid down on some property or built some property or invested in something and it's, it's because you freed them up to have that kind of money, Pisces. You know what I'm saying? This, what I mean by that is because you take care of all of their necessary expenses, all that extra, they, the money that they made was extra income. I'm tripping over my words here, you guys. Mercury retrograde's almost over. <laughs> but it's like someone was able to save their money because you're so fucking stable, Pisces. Yes. Or you made someone, um, you enabled someone to have a lot of disposable income because you took care of their basic, their needs. 
Spirit said, no, it's not basic. It's more than that. Some of you, Pisces, you're paying for people to go on vacation and stay in hotel and live five-star life, right? And you're working your ass off to do this, right? But you're stable. You're king of coins. Mm -hmm. And you realize this with somebody. <laughs> this is someone that you get into a lot of arguments with, too. And there would be a lot of times when there was like a, the silent treatment given. Yes. A lot of you too, you realize that you were being emotionally manipulated by someone. So if you did not give them what they wanted, which was usually money, for some of you, it was sex. If you did not give someone sex when they wanted it, they wouldn't talk to you or give you the cold shoulder. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. What do you think this is? All right. My body is my own. All right. If I choose to share it with you, okay, cool. But I don't owe you my body. You crazy? Anyway. <laughs> so Pisces... Someone was using you for your stability and you fucking realized that. And that cycle is over. Good for you. Mm -hmm. It's time for your just rewards to come in. It's time for your success to come in. Mm -hmm. This is uh, life-changing change. This is that cycle in your life. A lot of you, as king of coins, you've planted seeds. You've learned how to be really good with your money. You're very loyal. You're very stable. Uh, you're someone who's really good with business. You could be a business owner. You could be an entrepreneur. Uh, whatever you're doing in your career, you're very successful at it. It's like you have experience over time. You've developed this level of, um, I'm hearing this level of proclivity. Mm -hmm. This level of proficiency. Mm -hmm. A lot of you too, you, you're really good with numbers. <laughs> you're really good money managers or you work very, very close, closely with an accountant. You might as well be fucking partners because your money's on point. Mm -hmm. Pisces, you show up as wifey and husband material. Of course, this person didn't want you to go nowhere. Mm -hmm. You're the shit. But you have four of wands in reverse. So this was... This is done, Pisces, and you know this. Yeah, I think you finally seen that as much as you wanted something to move forward with someone that it just, it wasn't. It was time to, to let it go. It was time to give up the ghost in a relationship instead of trying to hold on to something that's dead, right? Spirit has so much good things and you've already started this cycle. It's like the, st the new cycle started when you started to realize people's bullshit. This person you were with, when you started to see the truth of things and um, lies, deception, secrets were being exposed, you had already begun this new chapter, this new cycle in your life. Because in the old one, you either refused to see it or you were just in denial. Like you saw it and you acted like, okay, well, they're going to change. You know, if I stay with them a little bit longer, things are going to get better. And you realizing that they're not <laughs> and it's not your problem. You started your new chapter, honey. You let someone go. You know that your journey is up with someone. You don't want to move forward with them anymore. They're actually like baggage to you. And you like to travel light. Mm -hmm. Someone caused insecurity in your life. A lot of worry. A lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. You may have thought that uh, someone was beautiful before. Or very handsome. But I feel like you're starting to see someone's true colors. Starting to see someone's true character. And they don't look that good to you anymore. Right? Mm-hmm. I heard this expression, God don't like ugly. I never really understood what it meant because I'm like, we're all be beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We're all beautiful, right? Me with my Scorpio self, right? <laughs> yeah. But I, I get it now. I get it now. It's like someone could look really, really good on the outside, but their personality is just a fucking turn off. And Pisces, this is what it is with you for this person. This person could have been really, really good looking on the outside or had some really great um, physical features. But their personality, their energy, it just makes you think that they're so fucking ugly. It makes them so ugly in your eyes. Like it repels you. You don't want anything to do with someone like this. Mm -hmm. You realize that you weren't going to be happy with this person, you know. And at one point in time, you were happy. But now it's like you either grow together or you grow apart. And you've grown apart from this person, Pisces. Yeah, you have. You are, some of you could have been dealing with a Virgo. Mm -hmm. We have the hermit here. Some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. But these are just the strong energies um, 
of the signs that I'm picking up. I'm going to pull some clarifying cards. Pisces, this ending, this new cycle, it has got you to go within, right? And it's uh, it's like you're taking your own counsel. You're listening to your higher self. A lot of you may just be spending a lot of time by yourself or your circle is really, really small. You only talk to one or two people. They may just be family members or someone you view as family. They've been around. They're your day ones, right? But you, for some of you that have children in this collective, it's just you and your children. You ain't fucking with nobody. You don't want to fuck with anybody. You just want to be left alone, right? So you can continue to uh, make sense of everything and move forward. You're really figuring, now that you've seen the truth of a situation with someone, now you're figuring out, uh, where do I go from here? Mm -hmm. And how do I get there? And what do I really want now? What, what do I want in this chapter of my life? Mm -hmm. I am feeling this energy of disappointment though, Pisces, from you. Like you really, you really thought this person was your end all and be all. Uh, for some of you, if you weren't married to this person, you were hoping to get married to this person. You were waiting for a proposal for a long time. Some of you may have wanted to propose to someone, but they just kept showing you fucking colors of themselves that you didn't like. And you're just like, I'd be a motherfucking fool to tie myself to you for the rest of my life with your gold digging ass. Right? So you just have to be real with yourself. And I feel like in this cycle of your life, Pisces, that's what you're doing. You're being real with yourself. Spirit, please clarify the world. Mm -hmm. The world. You're listening to your higher self. Right? You're getting that good advice because your truth comes from within. Not Google. <laughs> okay? All these great tarot readers on YouTube. I love all a lot of you. But even they can only give you a, up to a certain uh, point or a certain degree of your real truth of what you're supposed to do and what you know to be good for yourself. It will always only come from you. Okay, so you're listening to your higher self. A lot of you, you're, you're listening to your own wisdom, right? You've learned from this. Some of you may be speaking to someone. It could be a counselor. It could be a therapist because after what you, this is seven of swords in reverse, Okay, so lying, cheating, deceiving, stealing, some of you, um, abuse, mm -hmm. abuse, and abuse takes many forms. There is some th such thing as financial abuse, yes? So some of you, you needed to heal from this and speak to someone to release uh, pent-up, trapped emotions, blocked energy, just so that you can start feeling like yourself again, so that you can start focusing, continue to focus on your life, mm-hmm. Some of you spoke to or you speak to your mom or an older sister or uh, I'm hearing godmother or stepmother who's very wise, very intuitive. Uh, this is someone who can give you advice from looking at um, uh, multiple perspectives I'm hearing and looking at things from uh, many angles. And they're just telling you or giving you advice that is unbiased and just because they want the best for you and they want you to want the best for yourself. Spirit, can I get any more messages for the world? Mm-hmm. We have thought. This is a major arcana. It's like the information that you're getting, you don't have to think about it. You know it's true. You know it's true. You know that you're supposed to invest in yourself now. You know this cycle of your life is about you mm -hmm. and what's good for you. Absolutely. You are not even. You don't even have to think about it anymore. You just know this shit. Spirit, please clarify seven of swords in reverse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. You have destiny. Pisces, this was supposed to happen. This cycle is over. This contract is over. You did what you were supposed to do. Karma completed. Uh, game well played. Okay. Now it's time for you to level up. Mm -hmm. This is a part of your destiny. This is done. It's time for the next chapter of your life. The next cycle. Yeah. New beginnings. This is a rebirth for you as well because what you went through with this person it really helped you to uh, really stabilize yourself. I mean, stable, secure. Look, you have a emotional maturity about you that now people won't recognize you, Pisces. Uh huh. For those of you, people may see you after being with this person. You know, after you come out of your hermit mode, because you're doing a lot of healing, a lot of introspection, mm -hmm. a lot of going through. Um, it's like you're realizing when you were delusional or when this person had you an illusion, things may be coming to the surface. You may be finding out things about this person. Someone finds out something about someone on social media. Uh, someone gets a direct message, a DM on social media about some truth that's being revealed about this person you were with. 
Uh huh. Someone gets some kind of pictures or something sent to them, and it's like, wow. It's like they try to do it anonymously, so they create some fake profile to send you some shit about the person you're with. Mm -hmm. And then when you go and try to do some research, you find out that it's not even a real profile, but this person really wanted to get you the information. They really wanted you to know the truth of something. For some of you, this person was just trying to be spiteful, but what they don't realize is that they were just trying to hurt you, but what they realize is that you're done with this. You, this person can't hurt you anymore. You don't care about them. Mm -hmm. You don't care about them. This is over. This was destiny. What was supposed to happen, happened. Spirit, can I get some more messages for Seven of Swords in reverse? You're onto something bigger. Yep. There you go. Another major arcana. Destiny. You have destiny. Sorry, desire. Desire and destiny. Woo. Wow. Oh my goodness. It is your destiny to be your higher self. Okay. <laughs> wow. Pisces, it is your destiny to embody who you really are. I just got this for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is a theme for water signs, but this was supposed to push you. This was a, uh, this cycle that you went through, this experience that you went through, this relationship that you went through with this person. Mm -hmm. All of this bullshit was to push you into alignment with yourself. It was to push you into recognizing that you are your own source of abundance and you are your own happiness and stability and security comes from you, not from anybody else. And it's for you to recognize the beauty within you. Mm -hmm. It's for you to feel fulfilled within you. Mm -hmm. Yes, moving. This is moving from your higher self of knowing your worth, knowing your value, and knowing what you bring to the table, knowing that you are perfectly capable of with or without somebody, mm -hmm. being healed, healing your chakras, all areas of your life are running smoothly, yes, and you uh, you differentiate, you know when it's your ego, and you know when it is your higher self, but I feel like you've, uh, you've mastered, or you've gotten to a certain level of mastery where uh, you balance your light and your shadow side, right? You're not denying any part of yourself, you know? Yeah, there's sometimes someone can catch the smoke if they fuck around. If they're asking for the smoke, you'll give it to them. But there are there is that other aspect to you where you move in love and light and you'd rather just be peaceful and harmonious. You'd rather be that way instead. If you look at this, the king of coins, he's just sitting on his throne, right? This can be feminine too, doesn't matter. It's just energy. Sitting on your throne, just chilling, making your money, right? Living your life. You're not trying to fuck with anybody. You just want to be left alone peacefully and live in harmony and love and balance. And this was your destiny. In this cycle of your life, this chapter, this is what's happening, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a de your destiny to do this, to move into this paradigm. Spirit, please clarify, King of Coins. Please clarify, King of Coins. And it was just, it was a matter of time for this person to show their ass, Pisces. Because they had to do what they did to get you to where you are. You understand what I'm saying? They had to do this. It was a part of the contract. They fulfilled their end of the contract. Oh my goodness. You have the lovers. Mm -hmm. Pisces. This is about self-love. Mm -hmm. I also feel like this is about new love for you as well, Pisces. Mm. Yes. Uh, I'm picking up mostly self-love. Pisces in this Oh, okay. So I'm picking up two things for King of Coins. This is you, Pisces. You are, you moving away from somebody is going to bring someone else into your life. Mm -hmm. After seeing the truth about someone's bitch ass. Okay. Someone else is coming into your life. And this person is like King of Coins. This could be um, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be Earth sign. It could, doesn't have to be though. Mm -hmm. But this person is going to be very passionate about you. That there is some kind of imbalance there, though. This person does need to work on their own shit. Mm -hmm. They need to learn how to work on their masculine and feminine energies. I feel for you, Pisces, some of you, this is you. And you're still learning how to work on your masculine and feminine energies. But somebody is coming towards you. This is someone from the past, Pisces. So it's like you kick this person to the curb and now that they see that you're good, good on your own, they're coming back around because this person is in love with you. Absolutely. This person wants to take things to a higher level of commitment with you now. Yes, they realize that they are absolutely, you could be the love of their life. That's how they look at you. Now, someone wants to get back with you. They want to reconcile. Uh, they want to try this again. Hmm. But this person is not balanced. 
they have some issues, inner issues that they still need to deal with. Mm -hmm. They still need to deal with spirit. Please clarify four of wands in reverse. Because as much as they could love you a little more, Pisces, it's still, it's still a dynamic of opposites repel each other. Mm -hmm. So it's like this person, they could get... I just heard this person gets high off of conflict. So this is someone who likes drama. Mm -hmm. This is someone who likes some kind of problems going on in the relationship. It's, they like that breakup, um, get back together dynamic. And you're not about that life, Pisces. You want to be left the fuck alone, living peaceful, harmoniously with your children or your child. Just living and enjoying your life. You don't want any of that stuff. But this person very much wants to come towards you. Yes, they do. They are very much in love with you. And they very much want to get back together. I feel like this person energetically, they're not letting go of you. Mm -mm. As far as they're concerned, you are theirs. You belong to them. And that's one of the imbalances. Like you can't think, people are not your property, right? If someone chooses to share their life with you, fantastic. If not, what you going to do? Let it go. So now that you've, you've released someone... Pisces, here they come. Here they come with their fucking Im imbalanced ass. <clears throat> now, for four of wands in reverse, hmm, this person, they don't know what their truth is. They don't know what they want. Yeah. That's why I was picking up the energy of someone who's like, they like drama. They cause a lot of drama and chaos and conflict. They just bring a lot of stress in the, and problems and obstacles into the relationship when you were with them. And it's because this person's confused. They don't know who they are. They don't know what they want. They don't know what their truth is. They know they love you. They know they want to be with you. But they don't know if they really want to be committed. But they don't want you to go anywhere. But they want you to stay with them. But they don't want to stay completely committed. They want to know that they can play around sometimes too. But they don't want you to do that. It, you, do you hear the confusion? Do you hear it? Okay. This person doesn't know, man. They don't know what's up, right? Look at this. No, they're not in their truth. They don't know what they want. They're not aligned with themselves. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. This person's a mess. This person could have, like, addictions and stuff, a drinking problem. Yeah. Drinking problem. Okay, look at this. This one just gently popped out. <laughs> Hmm. They're not aligned, right? But it's like they're learning how to question. This person is questioning why things didn't work out with you. Right? Yeah. They're 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 looking at things now. They're looking at things that happened in the relationship and they're just like, how did this happen? I feel like for some of you, this person is realizing that. They were the ones that were fucked up in the relationship and things did not work out between you two because they didn't know what they wanted. Uh, the things that you wanted were different. Like I said, some of you could have been, you were waiting for a proposal or wanted to get married for the longest time or even move in together. Someone was waiting for a lease to be signed and someone backed out last minute or made some excuses or caused an argument so that you guys could break up because uh, they sabotaged it because they were scared. Mm -hmm. They were scared. And now they're looking at these things, the things that they've done to sabotage the relationship, the lies, the deception, the cheating, mm -hmm, the dishonesty, the disloyalty, the bullshit. And they know. They know what they did. Yeah, they're aware. They know it was them. Spirit, please clarify the hermit. You're in uh, hermit mode, Pisces, because you are, you're still healing and you're still releasing emotional baggage, right? So that you can have your new beginning. You're just, you're in that, uh, it's like after you've gone through this battle with someone and it's over, it's like, uh, what is it? Battle, battle weary. So after you've gone through all this shit with somebody and you break up and you're just taking some time for yourself. Mm -hmm. So that you can heal and let go of emotional baggage, emotional wounds, uh, the things, the hurt, the pain this person caused you. You're still healing from that. That's why you need this time to yourself. Uh, somebody, uh, Pisces, I, I am suggesting to you that you listen to some heart chakra meditations on YouTube. I like to listen to Meditative Mind. I'm not sponsoring them. I just like them. They, you know, this is not no paid promo or anything like that. 
I just like their channel. Uh, listen to some heart chakra meditations on YouTube. This will help you to heal your heart. Uh, for some of you, walking around with rose quartz, uh, it just keep it by your heart. You know, for women, wear it by your board in your bra or uh, wear it in your pocket or just keep it on you. This will help you to open up to love. This will help you to heal. This will help you to uh, forgive yourself, forgive others, love yourself and love others. Okay. Spirit, can I get one more for the hermit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're healing from this because it didn't work out. And you thought that it was going to go one way and it went, you thought it was going to go right and it went left. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. So you're taking time out because it was a lot that you went through. Yeah. And you're not questioning that you need to do this. You know, mm -hmm. you know that you need time for yourself to heal. Right. I, because you do have new love coming in. Uh, Pisces, but you need to take time for yourself first because you're not even, I don't even think you're thinking about any of this. Uh huh. And it, it sucks, but this was a part of the contract, right? This was supposed to happen so that you could get to where you are now because Pisces, you are in an energy where you are stable and secure as fuck. And you know what? It comes from within you. You're stable and secure within yourself. You know who you are. You know what you want for your life. You know what you're building. You know um, how to lay this foundation for yourself. And you chill in, right? So you know that your value, you know what you bring to the table. You know you wifey or you husband material. You know that. So it's like you're taking your time to heal from all these things so that the new things that are supposed to come towards you, you're ready for them. You are preparing for them. That's why you need to have this rest. It's like um, recuperating before you get started on the next part of your, your journey, right? Before you start the race again, when you finish one race, you need to take time to go recoup, go recharge, drink some water, sit down, have a breather, right? That's what you're doing right now, Pisces. But this person is coming back around. They do love you. They do want to get back with you. But this person's not balanced. They know that they're fucked up. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, they still don't know what they want. They're still not in alignment with themselves, but they, and they know that it's them, but they still want to come back. So Pisces, I don't really feel like you're going to be entertaining this person. I don't feel like that. You, this is done, right? Mm -hmm. And it, some of you, you're still upset about it. You're still upset that this, you feel like this person wasted your fucking time. Mm -hmm. You put a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears into the relationship with this person uh, just for it to end up in nothing nothingness so you need time to heal from this and you're looking at all of this like i feel like for some of you you know that you would never get back with this person square what are your last words of guidance and advice for the piscean collective thank you you would never not in this lifetime not in another lifetime it's done with this person this is cycle complete mm -hmm. oh my goodness spirit said get it together pisces because you're in this hermit mode. But if this was right side up, I'd have been like, okay, you guys are good. You're releasing. You're moving forward. You're in this hermit mode right now because you're still kind of stuck. You're still healing. You're still reeling from the things that this person did to you. This is seven of swords in reverse. All these things started coming out about what this person was doing. And you're just like, oh my God. I had this feeling that you were doing some fuck shit, but I never knew the extent of it. And now that it's coming out. Uh, some of you, you're just putting the purple dots together, connecting dots to things and looking back at things and like, but wait a minute, this is why you were acting like, oh, okay, this is why you said you wanted to have a break that time because you were fucking this girl. Oh, this is why you said that you wanted to go on a solo vacation with your boys because you went to go hang out with this person. You start putting these dots together. Mm -hmm. There's a masculine in this collective. You are with someone who will tell you they're going on girls trips and stuff. Yeah, they went on trips, but it wasn't with their girls. And their girls are ride or dies because their girls have no problem lying to you in your face. Like dry eye. Okay? No, she's with me. What are you talking? She can't come to the phone right now. She's doing her nails or some bullshit. Like put it on speaker, bitch. Put it on speaker. But Pisces, you're still healing. Mm -hmm. You're still kind of reeling from this. And Spirit wants you to make an effort today to release this. Okay? Says Spirit wants you to take back your power in situations that cause you to feel helpless. Okay? So this hermit mode, you are kind of licking your wounds. You are battle weary and want, Spirit wants you to know that, listen, you're the king of coins, Pisces. 
You're taking, feeling stable and secure in yourself is you taking back your power. You taking charge. You letting this go and being like, no, um, I'm going to pass on your, your offer and your type of love. I'm going to pass on that. I'm on big, bigger things now. I'm on different things now. So Spirit wants you to take back your power. And how you do this is by releasing these emotions that are keeping you stuck, uh, keeping you angry, keeping you hurt. Spirit wants you to heal from these things. It's like, okay, you know that uh, you never get back with this person. Now move on with your life, okay? Some of you, Spirit, once you commit to a healthy routine, take responsibility for yourself and your actions today. Create more structure in your life in order to meet your goals. And Spirit wants you to know that you got this, Pisces. You got this, okay? So whatever you're doing as the King of Coins, in the King of Coins energy, that is someone who is responsible. You're responsible about your shit. So I feel like this is just confirmation for you to do these things. Mm -hmm. Continue to do these things if you're not doing them. I'm sorry, if you're doing them and, and do them if you're not doing them, okay? Some of you, you have leveled up. Uh, if you are an entrepreneur or you're starting a business or you're even um, starting a new career path, Spirit wants you to take responsibility for yourself and your actions today. Do what you need to do to better yourself. Do what you need to do to make sure that you're good, okay? Spirit said you got this Pisces. Okay, my loves, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.